right, fans, good evening and welcome to the Clark Family Court here at Flagler Gymnasium in St. Augustine, Florida. We have a great match today coming up shortly between the Augusta University Jaguars and your Flagler College Saints. Coming into the play today, the Saints at 6-15 and 15 overall, 3-5 and five in conference play. On the other side, the Jaguars sitting at 19-4 and four overall, 5-1 and one in conference play. In addition, they are 5-1 and one on the road. Should have a great match, everybody. Uh, let's listen to the starting lineups real quick. For Augusta, Ali Fees, Savannah Davis, Dariana Luna, Kaylee Cleaver, Madeline Eden, Jasmine Wheeler, and finally, jean Vier Bugs. On the other side for Flagler, we have the freshman Amelia Fitzpatrick getting the start. We have Colby Stemkowski, number six as well. Number 12, Molly Boyd at middle hitter. Number 13, Jordan Berglund. Edie Lamoureux, of course, at libero on this very special senior night. Cecilia Robert, and finally, the freshman, Lainey Mack. We're just about set to get started here at Flagler Gymnasium, so get ready, folks. We should have a very exciting match coming up. As we mentioned, it is senior night, so Edie Lamoureux getting a little praise here. She's the starter at Libero for the Saints. In addition, Cameron Fenner, the setter, who plays a huge role off the bench for the Saints, will be celebrating her tonight and her senior year as well. Just about set to get going as Cecilia Robert has the ball ready for the serve. The ref gives his signal. And we are underway here in St. Augustine. Played nicely there. Oh, and there's the first point for the Jaguars. Kaylee Cleaver sends it home right at the feet of Edie Lamro, and it's a quick start to the game. The Jaguars go up 1-0 here in the first set. So the Saints coming off a win over West Alabama. We had Jordan Berglund and Colby Stemkowski both led the way with 10 kills in that match. Hoping to uh, show a little repeat of what we saw in their previous outing. So Jean-Vier Bugs with the first serve for the Jaguars. Molly Boyd hits it over, played nicely. And oh, a very nice kill there. That was Sophia Krushko, one of the leaders for the Jaguars. Krushko coming into play today is number two on the team in kills. She trails Jasmine Wheeler, uh, but Krushko at 174 kills on the season, also 66 blocks, so a bit of a dual threat as Bugs serves it over to Berglund. Max setting it up for Berglund and dug out very nicely by Dariana Luna. Blocked by Boyd, Berglund saves it. Fitzpatrick's just gonna free ball that one over. And Lamoreau makes a nice play defensively, and Berglund's just going to have to get it over. Oh, and they're going to say it didn't go directly over. And that's going to be another point for the Jaguars. So a great start. It's all starting with John Vier Bugs, the senior out of Smyrna, Tennessee. Transfer from Austin P. So Bugs on the serve once again. Just barely gets it over. Nice play by Berglund, and, oh, and she set it up easily for Savannah Davis. Not much the Saints could have done there. Real crafty by John B.A. Bugs, if that's what she meant to do. Took a little bit off of it, and the Saints defense was not ready for it. So it'll be Bugs once again. This one a lot harder. Dug out by Lamoureux. Boyd, and there's the first point for the Saints. Who else? Molly Boyd on the front lines. Molly Boyd, number two on the team in kills. She has 132 coming into play today, now 133. And it'll be the senior, Edie Lamoureux, on senior night, the first one to serve for the Saints. Played nicely by Bugs. Oh, what a play there by Krushko. Took a little bit off of it as she goes over the net. And that's another very nice point for the Jaguars. And, hey, the Saints have already uh, found themselves in a little hole here early in the first set. So it'll be Riley Harris, the junior from Mechanicsville, Virginia, on to serve for the Jaguars. The serve from Davis goes right to Berglund. Max sets it up. Oh, Stemkowski, very crafty, being able to get that one over. Oh, and there's another point, this one by Savannah Davis, just out of the reach of Stemkowski. So 
Riley Harris once again on the serve. Gets it over right at the feet of, oh, and Robert hits it into the net. Mack was able to hit it, but a little miscommunication between Lamoureux and Robert early on. And, yeah, it's a good time for Coach Skyler Lopez to call a timeout. A little flat early on, just wants to talk it on over with the girls. Before we go any further, want to thank a few of our presenting sponsors. First, we'd like to thank Birchill & Company. Find your home today with Birchill & Company. In addition, Fish Bites, Set the Hook. Flagler Hospital, excellence as a way of life. And finally, Hero of Florida, your partner for the complete equipment lifestyle. We'll take our first break. We'll be back in just a moment here at Flagler Gymnasium. Don't go anywhere, folks. All right, fans, we're back from our first timeout. Once again, the score, the Jaguars 7, Flagler sitting at 1 early on as Riley Harris gets ready to serve. Shoots it over, bounces off the net, but Berglund's able to play it. Max sets it up for Berglund. Good reaction by Jordan. And Robert, oh, very nice, gets it on over. And Jasmine Wheeler hits it right into Fitzpatrick. She's not able to get it back over. And another point for the Jaguars, already 8-1. to one. And Jasmine Wheeler, that's a player to watch for Augusta University. She leads the team in kills with 312 and is also second on the team in digs, coming into play with 239 as Lamoro is able to play that one. And another point for Savannah Davis. She's off to a great start so far. And another little run for the Jaguars. So we saw it first from Bugs, now it's Harris on the serves, and hey, the Saints just unable to get anything going here in the first set. Harris hits it over, J yep, just barely fits it in there. The refs give their signal. Couldn't have been any closer, but it was clearly within the line, so. Now a nine point deficit for the Saints, 10 to one, the Jaguars lead early on. Harris bounces the ball a few times. And nicely played by Robert on the dig. And Stemkowski is blocked, but well played by the Saints defense. Bug sets it up for Davis, and it bounces off of Laney Mack's hand. So another point for the Jaguars. That one may have been going out of bounds, but you still felt that Laney Mack had a play on it. So it'll be Harris once again on the serve. Very nice serve, dug out well by Edie Lamoureux. Berglund, oh, right into the hands of Harris. Bugs sets it up for Wheeler and Jasmine Wheeler. Like I said, we'd be saying her name a lot today, and that's already her second kill of the first set. So 12-1, the Jaguars lead here in the first set. Riley Harris once again on the serve. And very well played by Edie Lamoureux. She was going to play it and just let it go by her at the last second. And it was well out of bounds. So the second point of the first set for the Saints, they now trail by 12, or by 10, excuse me, as Amelia Fitzpatrick will be the one to serve. Nice serve, dug out beautifully by Luna. Here's Wheeler. Nothing Edie Lamoureux can do about that. A powerful kill from Jasmine Wheeler. So it'll be Savannah Davis on the serve, the junior from Phoenix, Arizona, a transfer from Scottsdale Community College. Serves it softly over to Berglund. Fitzpatrick sets it up, and Audrey Simmons hits it into the net, but played nicely by Stemkowski, free balled over by Fitzpatrick. Wheeler this time, is able to play it, and it hits off a ceiling light and goes directly at her feet. That's a bad break for the Saints when they could ill afford to have one. And Another timeout here by the Saints with the score 14 to two here in the first set. Before we go to a break, wanna thank a few more of our wonderful sponsors. 
First KB Home, built on relationships. Hey, if you need to, if you need to build a new home, KB Home, no one better than them. Also, Maori Law Firm, proud supporter of Flagler Athletics. Noah Bailey Group, proud sponsor of Flagler College Athletics. Pink Stork, the wellness brand for women. And finally, Holmes and Brockle Business Interiors. Make space for more with Holmes and Brockle. We'll be right back here, folks, after this quick timeout. All right, fans, welcome back to Clark Family Court here at Flagler Gymnasium. It's a beautiful day outside. We are happy to be indoors, though, watching a great match. Once again, it's 14-2. Augusta went on a great run here early in the first set. Coach Lopez just trying to find any spark for the Saints. As the serve goes to Berglund, Fitzpatrick sets her up nicely. And a very nice play by Harris. Oh, my goodness, that's a huge break for Flagler as Krushko hit it back right at the feet of Savannah Davis. So that's the third point of the set for Flagler. It's 14-3. to three. Augusta's in the lead, and hey, we'll see Jordan Berglund on the serve next. Berglund, 10 aces on the year. Boy, an ace here feels like it would go a long way for some momentum for the Saints as it's played nicely over to Wheeler, dug out by Robert. Fitzpatrick. Back to Simmons. Oh, dug out nicely by Harris. Oh, very soft hit by Krushko. Very impressive. Hey, she went up with all that force, took a little bit off it, and it lands right at the feet of Stemkowski. So 15 to three, the score here in the first set. It'll be Ali Thies, the one to serve for the Jaguars. Thies hits it to Berglund. Fitzpatrick's going to set it up for Robert. Very nice play defensively there. And that was Dariana Luna, the libero for the Jaguars. Oh, and Simkowski had a lot on that one just over the line and out of bounds. And there's another point that goes to the Jaguars. 16-3 to early on. My goodness. Now, we usually see Flagler get off to a good start. But you can tell Augusta is well prepared for them. Early on, Fitzpatrick back to Stemkowski. Oh, very nice defense once again by Augusta. Very impressive. And Stemkowski, this time she's able to lock it in. Ali Thies got a hand on it and hit it directly out of bounds. So a huge point there for the Saints, and Stemkowski will be the one to serve next. Stemkowski, 95 kills on the year, 11 aces, also adds 60 blocks to her resume. And, and there's our first serving error of the day as the ball goes directly into the net. And there's a free point for Augusta, 17 to four. They lead. So Jasmine Wheeler, the one to serve. It's a two Berglund. It's Patrick to Boyd and it's blocked very nicely by the Jaguars defense, and my goodness, that was a nice play by Simmons. Not much you can do when you have Madeline Eden, all six foot two of her, standing in the way. And Eden second on the team in blocks with 69 coming into the game today. Berglund hits it over, that was just too easy for Kaylee Cleaver. Just a little too hard. You can tell she was trying to set up Simmons and just got a little too much on it. So once again, Jasmine Wheeler will be the one to serve. Wheeler's hit goes to Berglund, dug out nicely. Fitzpatrick over to Robert. And that one's going to go over the net. Finally, another point for the Saints, 19 to 5. They now trail. And now entering the game, the other senior, we mentioned Edie Lamoureux, Cameron Fenner. The local girl from Jacksonville attended Bishop Kenny High School for all you local fans out there. We thank her for a great four years here at Flagler College. And we'll see what Fenner has in store for us. Her first serve played nicely by Thies. Wheeler hits it hard. Oh, Fenner makes a nice play on it, but it hits off the ceiling just barely out of the reach of Jordan Berglund. So 
20 to five the score here in the first set. Hey, crazier things have happened, but this is gonna be a tough hole for Flagler to dig themselves out of. So it's Dariana Luna on the serve. Hey, Fenner sets it up for Fitzpatrick and they're gonna say a violation there on Fenner and the point goes to the Jaguars. So Dariana Luna will be the one to serve once again. She's a senior all the way from Caracas, Venezuela. Cecilia Robert over to Fenner. Molly Boyd and it's blocked. Berglund is able to save it and Robert is just able to send it over. And a great block there by Robert. Savannah Davis went up and she certainly has the height advantage over Robert. It did not matter. A great block by Cecilia right there. Robert, not normally the uh, uh, the blocker, so to speak. You know, 130 kills on the year, but she does have 17 blocks coming in. She can get up very high. So it's Brooks Singleton checking in. She'll be the one to serve next. Hits that one to Thies. Oh, and a beautiful block there by Boyd. Lamoureux sets it up for Fitzpatrick. She just barely miss hits it into the net. And another point for Augusta. The score now 22 to six here in the first set. So once again, serving John Gay Bugs. Bugs serve a little soft, goes to Berglund. Fenner sets it up for Boyd and it's hey, dug out very nicely by Bugs, but it goes into the crowd. And there's a nice point for the Saints. Yeah, they know they want to get Molly Boyd going. You want to get Amelia Fitzpatrick going. We know what Jordan Berglund can do. It's just the remainder of the front lines for the Saints. And there's an ace. Edie Lamoureux on senior night comes through. Lamoureux, the team leader in aces with 26 coming into play today. That's her 27th now on the year. And she'll hold the ball again and will be the one to serve. Lamoureux serve, dug out by Wheeler. Oh, very nice. They set up Krushko, but a great block. And hey, Jordan Berglund, there she is. Off the hands of Savannah Davis and out of bounds. And it looks like Flagler's starting to get going here late in the first set. Hey, never too late for a little run. Lamoureux is ready. Her serve just a little too hard, goes over the line and out of bounds. And there's a point for the Jaguars. Lamoureux with a huge crowd in attendance all the way from New Bronzeville, Texas. Hey, we appreciate them making the journey out here. We are happy to have them here in St. Augustine, Florida. So once again, Riley Harris will be the one to serve for the Jaguars. Her serve goes to Singleton. Fenner setting up Fitzpatrick and a nice point to flex off the hands of Savannah Davis. And there's the freshman Amelia Fitzpatrick as the ladies flip sides. Before we let you go, I want to thank a few more of our presenting sponsors. 93 King, an alumni-owned two-bedroom cottage just 53 steps from campus. In addition, Academy Bus, we know the way. Anchor Faith, a, commu a community excuse me, of people who are passionate about Jesus. Finally, A.D. Davis Construction, builders, developers, and contractors. We're going to take a time out here on the court. We'll be back in a few minutes for the second set between Flagler and Augusta.
fans, we're back here at Clark Family Court and Flagler Gymnasium. Augusta leads this set 1-0. We have the beautiful voice of my friend Travis Scott in the background. Before we get started with this second set, want to thank a few more of our presenting sponsors because we love them so much. Hey, if anyone's hungry, Carabas, so close you can taste it. Carmelo's, de delivering old world quality only at Carmelo's. Jersey Mike's Subs, a sub above at Jersey Mike's Subs. Hey, if you go to Jersey Mike's, make sure you ask to get it Mike's way. And finally, a personal favorite, Applebee's. There is no place like the neighborhood. Hey, shout out Applebee's. It's a great month to go to Applebee's. All right, fans, just about to get started here in the second set. They're giving their double high fives around, getting set up. Augusta looks ready to go as Dariana Luna comes back into the game. We mentioned Dariana Luna all the way from Caracas, Venezuela. So a change of scenery. And the first one to serve for Augusta will be John B.A. Bugs. As we saw her lead off the first set, she will lead off the second, and we are underway. Played nicely by Berglund. Fitzpatrick. Second, oh, sets it up for Berglund right into the net. Just a little miss hit, something you don't really see that often from Jordan Berglund. And once again, it'll be Bugs to serve. So Bugs is ready to serve. Goes to Robert. It's Patrick setting it up for Simmons and just out of the reach of Jasmine Wheeler deflected off the hands of John B.A. Bugs. So, hey, Audrey Simmons, that's someone we want to watch, see if we can get her going today. Simmons, another one of those dual threats. 96 kills coming into play today, along with 51 blocks. She's third on the team in blocks. Berglund's serve goes to Luna. Bugs and then sets it up nicely for Krushko. There is not much we can do about Sophia Krushko, the junior, all the way from Cary, North Carolina. She transferred from East Carolina. You can tell she is a formidable presence on that front line. So Riley Harris, the one to serve for Augusta. The serve is dug out nicely by Lamoureux. Fitzpatrick setting it up for Simmons again, and oh, another miss hit by jean Vier Bugs, giving a little gift to the Saints. And hey, that's two straight points, courtesy of Audrey Simmons. Audrey Simmons, like we said, we'll be mentioning her name throughout the broadcast, I'm sure. The junior all the way from Northampton, New Hampshire, a transfer from St. Anselm College. As Lamro's serve is dug out nicely by Wheeler. Bugs setting up for Krushko. Oh, nice play by Simmons. Robert just at her feet. My goodness, what a play by Harris as Wheeler's just able to free ball that one over. Fitzpatrick setting up Berglund. Oh, just barely over the line on the far corner. Nice little rally there, and Berglund just a little softer. That ball lands in, and the Saints have a lead here early on. But you can tell they, they, they talked it over very nicely in our little break, and they've come out much better in this second set. It's Patrick to Robert. Oh, she hits it ever so softly, and she's able to get it over. Wheeler to Lamoureux. Oh, oh, and my goodness. Madeline Eden, she is another force on that front line. Hey, not really anything that Berglund could have done about that. It was rattled around a few times, hit a few hands. So 4-2 Jaguars lead here early in the second set. Berglund. Fitzpatrick setting up for Simmons, and it's blocked once again, this time by Jasmine Wheeler. And just like that, three straight points for the Jaguars, and they now lead 5-2. to two. Savannah Davis on the serve, and let go by Edie Lamoureux and Berglund. Very well read, and that's a huge point for the Saints that needed to stop the bleeding before it got out of hand. So Cameron Fenner, the setter, coming in to serve once again. 
Let's see what spark she can provide. All right, Bugs setting up Wheeler. She'll just hit it over ever so softly. Fenner setting up Fitzpatrick. Oh, beautifully placed by Fitzpatrick. Got a little nervous it was going to go over that line. That could not have been placed any better by Amelia Fitzpatrick. So a huge point there, and Cameron Fenner providing a little spark plug here uh, as the server. Wheeler hits it up into the ceiling. It rattles around. It is able to be played by the Jaguars. We've seen that go both ways now. Robert, it's deflected out of bounds. A huge point for the Saints, and they're now on their own three-point rally. We're all tied up here at five apiece. All right, so it's Cameron Fenner once again. The serve bounces off the net. Oh, and a two-handed kill by Colby Stemkowski. Hey, we mentioned earlier she had a big game against Western Alabama, and she's picking up where she left off her second kill of the match. Fenner once again. Played by Wheeler. Bugs. Sets it up, and it goes out of bounds, so it'll be a point for the Jaguars. It was Madeline Eden who hit it over, deflected off Stemkowski. Just barely went out of bounds on the near side by us. And we are all knotted up at six here in the second set. So Allie Fee is the one to serve. The senior from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Another transfer. She's from Georgia State. As Robert goes down, and it's blocked this time by Madeline Eden. Who else? The Jaguars now lead 7-6 to six here in the second set as Thies will once again be the one to serve. Played nicely by Robert. Fenner setting it up, and Fitzpatrick just barely able to get it over. Eden, oh, blocked very nicely by Fitzpatrick. And you can tell the Saints came out of that timeout. They are much more energized and ready to go here in the second set. And they are battling with the Jaguars of Augusta University, all tied up here at seven with Brooke Singleton checking in. She'll be the next one to serve for the Saints. Singleton serve played nicely by Thies. Bugs set it up for Wheeler. Oh, and it goes off Lamoureux's face. So much power when Jasmine Wheeler goes up for the kill. And there's really nothing you can do about that other than hope you get a deflection. 8-7, Jaguars lead here in the second set. It's been a back and forth second set, night and day difference from the first as Wheeler's serve goes out of bounds. Lamoro so smart on that play, just lets it go at the last second. And once again, we're all tied up at eight. So it'll be Colby Stemkowski, the one to serve for Flagler. Her serve, a line drive right at Thies. Wheeler's going to hit it to Eden, and it's blocked nicely by Boyd. Oh, a nice kill there by Cleaver, but played very nicely by the Saints defense. Bugs sets it up. Oh, not much you can do there. Madeline Eden having herself a nice start to the day, her third kill of the match. And they're just trading points at this point. It's 9-8, to eight, Augusta leads. Dariana Luna on the serve. Singleton plays it nicely. Lamoureux setting it up for Berglund. Fires one over the line, unfortunately. Had a lot behind that, did Jordan Berglund. Unfortunately, just over the line. And that's another point for the Jaguars. They now lead by a score of 10 to 8. Luna once again on the serve. Singleton. Fenner sets up Berglund, and then it's blocked beautifully by jean Vie Bugs. And there is nothing that Brooke Singleton could have done about that. And you can tell the front line presence for the Jaguars. I mean, whether it's Savannah Davis, Madeline Eden, you name them, they have a lot of very tall athletes. Oh, my goodness, and Berglund wasn't sure what to do there. Just barely gets it over and set it up too easy for Savannah Davis with the two-handed kill. So Luna will do it again. She's on a nice little run here as it's mishit by Berglund. Played nicely by Singleton. And Berglund will free ball it over. 
Bugs. Oh, a great block by who else? Molly Boyd. Hey, she leads the team in blocks, and I'm sure we'll be saying her name a lot in this matchup. And Fitzpatrick will be the one to serve here. Fires one just barely over the line. Oof. Looks like she was going to be able to sneak it in, but just over that yellow line on the Jaguars' side. And unfortunately for the Saints, that'll be a Jaguars' point. So 13 to 9 here, midway through the second set. We'll see Jean Vier Bugs serve once again. We've said her name a lot today. She's great offensively and defensively for Augusta as Edie plays it very nicely. Molly Boyd, oh, she gets it over, but right at Bugs. And here's Prushko. Oh, it's blocked, but unfortunately on the Flagler side. And that'll be another point for Krushko. So Bugs once again to serve, bounces it a few times. And she is ready. And hits it into the net. There's the first time we've seen that from the Jaguars. That is huge for the Saints, just to stop the bleeding any way they can. So it'll be Jordan Berglund, the one to serve for the Saints. Oh, and Miss hits it. She could tell the minute it left her hand that she just did not get enough on it, hits it directly into the net. So 15-10 here in the second set, the Jaguars lead. The Saints have already matched their point total from the first set, so an encouraging sign, you know, things are looking up for Flagler. And once again, we'll have Riley Harris on the serve for Augusta. Harris serve, goes over, dug out nicely by Edie. Fitzpatrick, oh, Simmons hit it hard, just out of bounds on the far side. And another point that's going to go for the Jaguars. And Coach Lopez has seen enough from this mini run that the Jaguars went on. He's going to call a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. First, want to thank a few more of our presenting sponsors. Northeast Florida Regional Airport, the smart choice for all your air travel needs. 123 Burger House, grilling and chilling only at 123 Burger House. Liberty Data, faster, safer, and smarter business solutions. And finally, Spartan Orthopedic Institute, sports medicine and robotic surgery. All right, we'll take a time out here. We'll be back ever so briefly here at Flagler Gymnasium. All right, fans, we're back here at Flagler Gymnasium. The score 16-10. The Jaguars of Augusta lead the Saints. Hey, my good friend Lewis the Lion just walked into the uh, into the gymnasium, so that's probably a good sign. He himself is a walking spark plug for the Saints, so happy to see Lewis in attendance here. Flagler just ready to leave their huddle, as Coach Lopez called a well-timed timeout. So we'll have Riley Harris on the serve. She'll wait for the officials to give their signal. And she has gotten it. So the serve from Harris into the net, and that's a huge point for the Saints. Hey, once again, I feel like I say this every broadcast, Skyler Lopez calls the most well-timed timeouts. That's a huge point to get Edie Lamoureux on the serve, once again, leads the team in aces, does Edie. And Wheeler hits it over to Bugs. Nicely played there by Cassidy Bloom. Robert, oh my goodness, very well played by Dariana Luna. And she will just free ball that one over, Robert. Oh, Stemkowski's able to get it over. And Davis, oh, Stemkowski, it stays inbound. Hey, a nice little rally here as Wheeler hits it over, played by Fitzpatrick. Lamoro set it up for Robert. It's rattled around and goes right to Wheeler. Bugs sets it up for Krushko. Dug out nicely by Fitzpatrick. Edie sets up Cecilia Robert, and it's rattled around again. 
Wheeler this time blocked by Audrey Simmons. And a long rally there. You felt like that was a point Flagler needed, and they showed it. Audrey Simmons with a huge block to make this a four-point deficit rather than a six-point. And Edie Lamoureux on the serve once again. Oh, and Luna lets it go. And she knew she made a mistake immediately. So Lamoureux with another ace, her second one on the match, increases her team leading total. 16-13, the Jaguars lead here midway through the second set. It'll be Edie Lamoureux, the senior, once again on the serve. Bug sets it up for Krushko. Nothing they can do about that. Krushko so well placed and so much power behind that kill. And she stops the little mini run that Flagler was on. And the Jaguars once again have a four point lead. So Savannah Davis on the serve, hits it right into the net. A huge break for Flagler. As Cameron Fenner checks back in, she'll be the one to serve. Saints trail by three. And Fenner serve. Nicely played by Harris. Bugs to Krushko. Edie with an incredible dig out of bounds. My goodness. And Robert with a nice shot, but it's saved. Oh, my goodness. A beautiful save by Bugs, an even better finish there by Wheeler. But don't let that distract you. Edie Lamoureux just made one of the plays of the night on the far side of the court to save that point for Flagler. Unfortunately, they weren't able to capitalize, but a good sign there. As when Edie's playing well, things normally are going well for the Saints. Dug out by Robert. Fenner hits it back to her. Oh, falling backwards. She is able to get it over. Oh, and they're going to say there was a violation. The point goes to the Saints. And now they're trading points. It's once again a three-point match. A little confusion on the court. I'm not sure if there was a timeout called. And there it is. There is a timeout on the floor. So we'll take a quick break. First, another more of our beautiful sponsors who we love so much. St. Augustine Marina for all your boating and fishing needs. Hey, take it from someone who's used St. Augustine Marina. They are phenomenal. Highly recommend. St. John's Family Funeral Home and Crematory. Services unique as life. Stellar Group, taking solutions further with Stellar Group. Boy, is that stellar. And finally, Sunshine Realty. For all of your real estate needs, contact Sunshine Realty. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in a hot second here at Flagler Gymnasium. All right, fans, we're back here at Clark Family Court at Flagler College. Just wrapping up this timeout as Flagler joins their opponent, the Jaguars, on the court. 18-15 the score. Augusta leads a night and day difference once again from the first set where Augusta dominated early and often. This will be Brooke Singleton, the one to serve for the Saints. Singleton, we always mention this, but I just think it's very important. An academic all-conference player last year so she's a great player on the court and in the classroom and there's a huge point as the shot goes out of bounds for the Jaguars and the Saints cut the deficit to two Singleton the serve played by Thies Bugs over to Wheeler oh nice save by Cameron Fenner Singleton over to Bloom and it's played easily by Thies Wheeler once again blocked, and she hits it out of bounds. Another block by Amelia Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick having a pretty big day so far. Already two kills, three digs, and a few blocks we've seen. It's now an 18 to 17 Jaguars lead. Singleton will serve once again. Harris hits it over to Bugs, and another block. Amelia Fitzpatrick lets the crowd hear it. 
And Amelia Fitzpatrick having a nice set here. That's got to be three or four blocks we've seen. And she gets back-to-back -back points to tie this thing up. Singleton hits it over, dug out nicely by Luna. Wheeler on the kill just at the feet of Edie Lamoureux. And the Jaguars respond in a big way. They retake the lead. It's 19 to 18 here late in the second set. Jasmine Wheeler all the way from Phoenix, Arizona on the serve. Oh, Singleton plays it nicely, but it goes over. Fenner saves it, beautiful play, and Edie's just gonna hit it on over. And it's blocked! Who else? Amelia Fitzpatrick. Oh my goodness, I feel like she's running out of ways to celebrate, and she knows it, she just walks that one off. And Amelia Fitzpatrick has become a force on the front line for the Saints. We are all knotted up at 19, folks. So Colby Stemkowski on the serve, fires one in there, thieves, and it rattles around off the ceiling. And Wheeler's going to have to free ball that one over as Stemkowski sets it up. And Boyd with a point. Molly Boyd gives the Saints a late lead here in the second set, 20-19. And between Fitzpatrick and Molly Boyd, these are some crucial points for the Saints. And what a response from that first set. Sankowski fires it. And another block, and I, I don't even need to say who it was. Amelia Fitzpatrick once again up to about five or six blocks on the set. I have never seen anything like this, folks. And Augusta's going to have to call a timeout. Coach Quarles has said she has seen enough. Hey, before we take a quick time out, a few more of our sponsors who we would like to thank. Salt Life, eat, drink, and be salty at Salt Life. Hyundai of St. Augustine, when it comes to dreaming big, we're thinking of every mile. Finally, Holiday Inn Express, Flagler College Athletics official hotel. We'll be back in a second, folks. Don't go anywhere as we wrap up this second set. fans we're back here at Flagler Gymnasium the score 21-19 the Saints lead the Augusta University Jaguars we had a 25-10 first set and Flagler has responded in a big way as they lead by two Stemkowski serve right to Wheeler Bugs sets it up for Eden and is hit up into the air doesn't rattle around at all Cassidy Blooms hit oh and Boyd Boyd is able to save it Oh my goodness, a great dig by Stemkowski. Singleton just not able to get over there. That would have been a tough play. And that's a big point if you're the Augusta Jaguars. They needed to stop the bleeding there. So Dariana Luna fires one in. Cassidy Bloom digs it out. Molly Boyd with another point. Molly Boyd coming on strong here late in the second set. And she extends the Flagler lead once again to two points. So Amelia Fitzpatrick on the serve. She has been the name to watch here in the second set. You feel like she's going to do something big once again. Bug sets it up for Wheeler. Blocked this time by Simmons and Boyd. They tag team it up at the front of the net. And it is now 23 to 20, the Saints lead here in the second set. Fitzpatrick once again. Fires one at the feet of Wheeler. Lamoureux plays it nicely. Fitzpatrick to Boyd blocked, and it's going to go out of bounds. So there's a point for the Jaguars. It's back to a two-point game. 23-21, Flagler leads. What an exciting second set here. It's going to come down to the wire, folks. John V.A. Bugs, the one to serve for the Jaguars. She's hoping she can spark a little rally here. Bugs serve, and Bloom plays it very nicely. 
Fitzpatrick sets her up. Oh, just gets under it ever so slightly. And it goes out of bounds across the back line. So 23-22 the score now as Coach Lopez will call timeout. Before we take a break, I want to thank a few more of our sponsors. Bailey Group, no matter where you want to go, will help you get there. BNS Signs, quality signage and service. When it comes to signs, we do it all. All right, we're going to take another timeout here. Don't go anywhere, folks. It's a close match here late in the second set. All right, folks, we're back at Flagler Gymnasium. The score 23-22 late in the second set. Flagler is in the lead, hoping to hang on and take this second set from the Jaguars of Augusta. We have John V.A. Bugs once again on the serve. She is ready. The crowd is going nuts. Fitzpatrick setting it up for Simmons. Oh, she just didn't get enough on it and hits it right into the net. All knotted up at 23 apiece here now as Bugs has a chance to give her girls a lead. Bounces it a few times and she is ready. Fires one, Bloom plays it. Oh, and it goes just under the net out of the reach of Amelia Fitzpatrick. And just like that, the Jaguars have a one point lead here late in the second set. So set point here, John B.A. Bugs once again the one to serve. Played nicely by Edie. Fitzpatrick setting it up for Simmons and right into the arms of Wheeler. Krushko off the hands of Cassidy Bloom. What a comeback there late by the Augusta Jaguars and they're gonna take the second set by a score of 25 to 23. They take a two nothing lead on the match overall all right before we head to the third set gonna thank a few more of our presenting sponsors before we take a break ameris bank savings for the expected or unexpected only with ameris bank atlantic dodge proud supporter of flagler athletics south state bank welcome to banking forward with south state bank and finally pizza lee's chianti room for the true italian food connoisseur and boy does that sound like me might be stopping in there on the way home. Hey, we're going to take a time out here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We have the third set coming up here in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida.
All right, Saints fans, we're just about set for the third set here at Clark Family Court at Flagler Gymnasium. Augusta leads overall by a score of two to nothing. They took the first set by a score of 25 to 10. Flagler fought back valiantly there in the second set, lost by two, 25 to 23. Just were not able to finish off the Jaguars. And hey, when you face a team like Augusta, like we mentioned in the uh, the entrance of the broadcast, 19 and four overall. This is one of the best teams that Flagler is going to face, and one of the best teams, excuse me, in the Peach Belt Conference. So we're just about set. Both teams on the court here. And for those that don't know, this third set brought to you by Chick Fil A. Eat more chicken at Chick Fil A. Just waiting on the signal from the referees. They roll the ball over to Amelia Fitzpatrick. Hey, we need to shout out Amelia Fitzpatrick. The spark that she gave this crowd there in the second set, that was phenomenal. And she'll be the one to serve. Fires one in right at the feet of Luna. And we're underway here in the third set. Lamoureux hits it over to Amelia. Molly Boyd at the back line just sneaks it in, assisted by Amelia Fitzpatrick. And the Saints get off to a one nothing lead here early in the third set. It's Patrick serve. Goes to Wheeler. And they set it up. Oh, hit into the net. Kaylee Cleaver, the sophomore from North Carolina. She had a good read on it, just barely miss hit it to her right. And the Saints now lead two to nothing. Serve from Fitzpatrick. Oh, just barely into the net. I thought at first glance she had enough on it, and then it looked like the ball just kind of died as it was traveling. And it's now a two to one game. The Saints still lead. As John VA Bugs will be the one to serve. We've said her name a lot today. Serve from Bugs, played by Bloom. It's Patrick and Simmons will just free ball that one over to Luna. Krushko, Simmons is ready for it. It's Patrick to Bloom, deflected and played easily by Bugs. Krushko fires one, a great dig by Edie Lamoro as Bloom just free balls one over. Davis, oh, nice play by Fitzpatrick. Edie setting up Simmons, blocked. Oh, Edie made a play on it. Just wasn't able to hit it up into the air. And that's a great rally, but the point will land with the Jaguars. John B.A. Bugs, the assist leader for the Jaguars, leads all participants in this match with 585 assists. Also adds 199 digs and 38 aces for the Jaguars. She leads the team in aces as well as Bloom fires one right to who else? John V.A. Bugs. Krushko's shot. Nice play by uh, Cecilia Robert, but unfortunately just goes out of bounds on the far side. And the Jaguars will take a 3-2 lead here early in the third set. So Bugs on the serve. One. Oh, Robert plays it to Fitzpatrick Simmons. It's deflected, but played easily by Jasmine Wheeler. And Davis' shot goes right into the waiting arms of Molly Boyd. And Molly Boyd, she's provided a lot to love here for the Saints. And we are all knotted up at three here early in the third set. So Cassidy Bloom will be the next one to serve. Sophomore from Naples, Florida, transferred from the University of Albany. And oh! A great finish there by Kaylee Cleaver right at the feet of Cassidy Bloom. So 4-3, the Jaguars now lead. And we'll see Riley Harris. Harris on the serve once again, bounces it a few times. And she is ready. Fires one to Edie. Fitzpatrick, oh, Boyd able to get it over, and Krushko starts falling over. Hope she's all right. She is. 
Fitzpatrick setting it up for Robert. Oh, what a play there by Riley Harris on the back lines. And Jasmine Wheeler just barely gets it over. Fitzpatrick up in the air. Edie setting it up for Simmons. And right in the waiting arms of Harris. Krushko again. Blocked out of bounds by Boyd and Robert. A nice play defensively, but it's just an unlucky deflection. It's now a 5-3 third set here. Augusta is in the lead. Harris once again on the serve. Fires one into the net. A huge break for the Saints as that, as that ends that little mini rally for the Jaguars. So 5-4, the Saints now lead as who else? C.D. Lamoureux will be the one to serve. Once again, it's senior night, so we're honoring Cameron Fenner as well as Edie Lamoureux. Thank you to both of them for all they've done for this program. So Krushko's shot, oh, deflected once again by Robert, and once again goes out of bounds, unfortunately, for the Saints. And this time it'll be Savannah Davis. All six foot three of her on the serve now. And she's been a force on the front lines defensively, especially. And oh, just a little too much on it. Read beautifully by Cassidy Bloom. And the ball goes out of bounds, and there's a point for the Saints. Speaking of our seniors, there is Cameron Fenner checking into the night uh, into the match once again. A very happy senior night to Cameron Fenner as well as Edie Lamoro. Fenner serve. Here's to Harris. Nice play by Bugs, and Wheeler's just going to fire it over. But Edie's ready for it. Fitzpatrick fires one right at Harris. Oh, my goodness. Fenner for Lamoro, and here's Robert. It's blocked up in the air, and oh, Wheeler read it perfectly and was able to just kill that ball home. Now you had about four Saints up by the line, and Wheeler saw that and reacted brilliantly and was able to just hit it into the open space. A very easy point, but nonetheless, a great read by Jasmine Wheeler. So Ali Thies will serve once again. Played nicely by Bloom. Fitzpatrick kind of pushes that one over. Thies is able to play it easily. Wheeler blocked there by Stemkowski. Wheeler again. Oh, nice play by Fenner. She was ready for that one. And Robert fires it at Luna, who was ready once again. I don't know how she was. Fenner setting it up for Robert again. Oh, what a play by Harris. Jasmine Wheeler hits it. Robert, Fenner, and Robert fires it over. Thies is able to play it. Eden, oh, nice play by Cecilia Robert. And Cassidy Bloom's just going to have to free ball it over. Hits off the ceiling. And it's blocked there by Stemkowski. A long rally there, and it ends with Colby Stemkowski blocking Jasmine Wheeler, and a huge point for the Saints, and it is now a one-point second set. Or, excuse me, third set. As Brooks Singleton checks in, she'll be the next one to serve, hoping she can provide a bit of a spark for the Saints. Singleton serve, played by Harris. Eden, ooh, ever so softly, nice play by Bloom. And Singleton's gonna be able to get that one over. Great defense there by Bloom. And Wheeler, oh no, they're gonna say violation on the Saints. And there's another point for the Jaguars. They now lead eight to six here in the third set. So Jasmine Wheeler, the one to serve. It's a nice and soft lead to Edie. Fenner sets it up. Oh, Bloom has to backtrack, but is able to get it over. Bugs. Oh, my goodness. Kaylee Cleaver fires that one into the back corner of the Saints, and it is now a 6-9 to nine game as Flagler leads by three. Wheeler serve. Dug out nicely by Lamoureux. Ostenkowski, it's an up. Oh, Bloom able to get a hand on it, just not enough as she falls toward the crowd here at our feet. And great hustle, but unfortunately for the Saints, they are now in a four-point deficit. And we're going to
to see Jordan Berglund check back in for Cassidy Bloom. Haven't seen much of Jordan today. Not normally the case. But we're happy to see her back on the court. Speaking of Jordan, plays it nicely. Fenner sets it up for Fitzpatrick. Blocked. Edie makes a nice play and gets it on over. So these to Eden just out of the reach of Brooks Singleton. So another great defensive play there by Edie Lamoro. Unfortunately, the Saints unable to capitalize. And Coach Lopez is going to call a timeout with the score. Augusta 11, Flagler 6. Before we take a break here, I want to thank a few more of our presenting sponsors. Capital Financial Strategies, a full-service financial company serving North Florida and South Georgia. Caldwell Banker Premier Realty, fulfilling the dream of home since 1906. Evans Automotive, quality work at a fair price only at Evans Automotive. Hybrid Design, advertising, graphic design, and marketing, thanks to Hybrid Design. And finally, Sonny's Barbecue, local pit master since 1968. Hey, we don't just serve barbecue, we are barbecue. Hey, that's how you know it's good. And we're not even going to take a break here. Augusta's already back out onto the court. Coach Lopez still talking to the ladies of Flagler. The Saints get back out onto the court. 11 to 6, Augusta leads here in the third set. And as we saw in the second set, these two teams may be more evenly matched than the first set would show us. And Laney Mack checking into the game, to, uh, into the match, excuse me. Haven't said her name that much today, but she is the team leader in assists for the Saints. Oh, Edie Lamoro. Plays the deflection beautifully, and she cannot be everywhere at once, though, as the ball is blocked and hit into the free space on the Flagler side. And another point for the Jaguars. 12-6, now the score. So Jasmine Wheeler on the serve once again, fires it to Berglund. Lady Mack sets her up. And she hits it on over to Thies. Oh, my goodness, read beautifully by jean Bugs. Bugs. Just softly hits it in the middle of all six Saints on the opposite side. And we're going to have a quick substitution as Fenner and Bloom will replace Mack and Berglund. So Wheeler gets the signal from the officials. She is ready to go. Fires one. Oh, dug out by Singleton. Directly out of bounds, unfortunately. Just looks like she mishit it off the edge of her hands. And the deficit is now eight for Flagler. Feels like it's now or never as we're midway through the third set. Don't want to let that deficit get too big. And Singleton to Fenner. She sets up Fitzpatrick. A beautiful kill by Amelia Fitzpatrick. She's had the hot hand today. And that ends the bleed, or stops the bleeding, excuse me. And the score is now 14 to 7, the Jaguars lead, but a huge point there from Amelia Fitzpatrick. Feels like whenever they've needed one, she's been able to provide a spark. Stemkowski on over to Wheeler. Bug sets up Wheeler. Oh, and Singleton got a hand on it, but just a little too low. And the serve will go back to Augusta. They now lead 15 to 7 here midway through the third set. Dariana Luna on the serve, fires one to Edie. Cameron Fenner over to Fitzpatrick, just ever so softly hits it over. He's setting it up for Cleaver, and nice play there by Cassidy Bloom. Fenner, Fitzpatrick, ooh, nice play defensively by Wheeler. And Wheeler's shot deflected. Bloom fires one, and Wheeler hits it into the ceiling. Thies is ready for it, and oh, another one into the ceiling, and Wheeler just has to free ball it over. Fenner to Bloom, nice play by Cassidy Bloom off the left arm of Jasmine Wheeler and out of bounds. And the Saints get a huge point, keeping the deficit at seven points. So Amelia Fitzpatrick, the one to serve next. Three kills, five digs, and we haven't even mentioned all the blocks from the second set. She has been phenomenal tonight. Fires one to Luna. And Boyd, oh, Luna makes a nice play, but Simmons is there. 
As Fitzpatrick sets up Bloom. What a shot by Cassidy Bloom. Back to back points from Cassidy Bloom, the sophomore for the Saints. She took a little bit off it just at the last second and all three Jaguars were already up in the air. A beautiful play by Bloom, assisted by Fitzpatrick. So Bugs setting up Wheeler, Bloom's ready for it. Fitzpatrick, ooh, tricky play there, but Fees is ready for it. And Kaylee Cleaver goes up and fires it at the feet of Brooke Singleton. And the Jaguar lead back to 16 to nine. John D.A. Bugs once again the one two serve for the Jaguars. And Bugs serve. Just out of bounds. Read beautifully by Brooke Singleton. You can see her reading it the whole way and just at the last second reacts and just lets it go. Sometimes the hardest thing to do. So 16 10, the Saints lead, or excuse me, the Saints trail here in the third set. Cassidy Bloom serve. Goes over to Luna. Played nicely and just out of bounds. Edie reads it beautifully. And hey, Flagler chipping away at that deficit. They're now only down by five, and they are within striking distance. Bloom serve, goes to Luna. Oh, miss hits it, but Fushko's ready for it. Bugs over to Cleaver, and it's blocked nicely, but played by Luna. Cleaver again. This time misplayed by Fitzpatrick, something we haven't said at all tonight. But Kaylee Cleaver, if you give her too many opportunities, that's what she's going to do. We haven't mentioned Cleaver much, but 86 kills on the year, 19 digs and 13 blocks to go along with it. Kind of a do-it-all player for the Jaguars. And Cleaver only a sophomore, so we'll see her the next few years. Lamoureux digs it out. Fitzpatrick to Boyd. It's deflected. Nice play there by Wheeler. Krushko, easy play for Simmons. Lamoureux over to Robert. Robert, it's blocked out of bounds, and the point is going to go for the Saints. And the deficit is back to five, but once again, still in striking distance if they can go on a little run. And few people you'd rather have serving if you need a run. Edie Lamoureux now the one to serve the team leader in aces. Lamoureux serve, goes right to Wheeler. Nice play. Oh, Stankowski just barely out of bounds. It was a close call, but it was definitely out of bounds. Tough break for Stankowski. She read that perfectly. 18-12, Augusta leads here late in the third set. The serve from Davis played nicely by Bloom. Fitzpatrick over to Robert, into the waiting arms of Wheeler. Krushko fires it right at Bloom once again. Robert, it's blocked. Edie it makes a nice play on it. And oh, Cecilia Robert uses the fingertips to just lightly hit it on over. That was Krushko and Eden playing defense, and they definitely have the height advantage, and Robert knows it, so just ever so softly hits it over them. What a play by Robert. So Cameron Fenner back in. She will be the one to serve. Fires one. Oh, almost gets an ace, but a nice play by Harris. Oh, and a nice shot by Eden, but read beautifully by Lamoureux. Let's it go out of bounds. It's now an 18-14 score here in the third set. The Saints just chipping away at that deficit. Better serve. Luna plays it nicely. Bugs over to Krushko. Blocked nicely. And rattled around and a free ball over by Wheeler. Fenner sets it up, and Stemkowski's shot is played nicely. Wheeler, oh, Edie, what a play. Nope, they're going to call a violation on Stemkowski. And that's going to take away a beautiful dig from Edie Lamoureux. I mean, th th that ball was fired right at her. And the reaction time was very impressive, as always, from Edie. Ali Fees will be the one to serve next for the Jaguars. He's got eight digs on the day, a silent killer for Augusta. Fenner, oh, Fitzpatrick ever so softly. Nice dig by Fees. 
Oh, Edie Lamoureux digs out the shot from Wheeler and Bloom, oh, just over the line. Oh my goodness, I didn't think she put too much on it, but the ball just traveled a little bit. And unfortunately, it negates that beautiful save from Edie Lamoureux. So these once again, played nicely by Robert. Fenner, back to Cecilia. Oh, and that was read perfectly by Wheeler. She was expecting Robert to take a little bit off of it. And she could not have played that any better. So Allie Fees, once again, will be the one to serve. Played nicely by Bloom. Fenner sets it up for Stemkowski. A beautiful finish. And Fenner was trailing into the net, just barely got a hand on that, and Stemkowski was ready for it. Couldn't have timed that any better. So Brooks Singleton checks in. She will be the one to serve next. 21-15, the Saints trail here late in the third set, hoping for some magic. Bug sets it up for Eden. Rattles around, and they're going to give the point to the Saints. And that's a big one. 21-16 now the score. Hey, don't go anywhere, folks. This match is not over yet. Singleton once again. Fires one played by Luna. Bugs to Wheeler. Oh, deflected off Fitzpatrick and Stemkowski. Looks like a bit of a combination of the two, and it goes out of bounds. So that'll be another point for the Jaguars as they now increase their lead to six. Wheeler serve. Oh, played beautifully by Singleton. Looks like she was about to play it, and at the last second gets out of the way and just lets it go. And that's a huge point. It keeps it at a five-point third set. So 22-17. The Saints hoping to extend this match. The Jaguars hoping to go home for the night. And Semkowski, unfortunately, just too much of a line drive. Hits it right into the net. It's back to a six-point third set as Dariana Luna will be the next one to serve. Jaguars only need two more points to complete the sweep. And they're going to get one. Savannah Davis was just waiting on that one, and she just fired it right at, excuse me, right at Fenner, and it deflects out of bounds. So Luna, Singleton plays it. Fenner over to Fitzpatrick, and, oh, dug out nicely by Wheeler. Bugs. Oh, and a nice play by Fitzpatrick just to get it over. Oh, and Cleaver, oh, and it rattles around off Fitzpatrick and Boyd. And that is how this match will end. So the third set, a score of 25 to 17. The Jaguars take it. They take the sweep here by an overall score of three to nothing. So thank you all for joining us today, folks. It was a great senior night here for the Saints. We're about to honor Edie Lamoureux as well as Cameron Fenner. But that's going to be all for us here in the booth. For all of us, my colleagues Laurel Plexico and Jordan Taylor, I'm Kyle McCarthy. We say so long for the night. Hope everybody enjoys their Friday evening. And until next time.
She had a career high 20 assists at Florida Southern earlier this year. Her career high 15 digs came last season in the PBC Tournament Championship match against USC Eagan. Fenner has had five aces in a match twice in her career. She is a three time PBC Presidential Honor Roll Presidential Scholar. She will graduate in May with a degree in business administration. Karen is being escorted by her parents, Matt and Catherine. And her sister, Erica Allison, and sister's fiance, Chris Larson. Ladies and gentlemen, from Jacksonville, Florida, number eight, Karen Fenner.